Hey there, guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. As always, I am here with Mad Zuri. Greetings. And today we are going over something that I have seen people request a fair bit lately, uh, some balanced train loading and unloading designs. And we tried to go with the simplest ones that, uh, that we know of. These are pretty much uh, Zuri designs here. And it may look complicated because there's some circuit stuff involved, but it's actually very straightforward circuit things and probably simpler than doing some sort of belt balancer type thing. So I'm going to let user just kind of take it from here and explain what's going on on these. Sure thing. I like to use a fast inserter and you literally click everything once. So enable, disable, read hand contents, everything equals zero and hold. And you just link these six together and you've got yourself about half a belt. Mm -hmm. So you take two sides of a wagon for one blue belt. Right. So I, I think it's pretty simple. It took me a lot to figure it out, though. I, was, I used to try to set timers and stuff to get all the inserters swinging just the perfect <laughs> time, but this was a lot easier and a lot simpler. Yeah, this is super simple. And just for people who wonder, like, the, the thinking behind it, right, everything equals zero. Uh, from my understanding, this is essentially just saying that they can work when none of them are holding anything, which makes them all work in unison pretty much. Yeah, there's always one little offset guy. But as soon yeah. as he dumps his item on the belt, all of them can start swinging. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's our unloader. And um, for bigger trains, you would literally just do this per wagon like we have over here, which we'll show in a minute. But um, that's our unloader. The loader is a little bit more complicated. Um, but as you explain this, you guys will see it's really pretty straightforward, too. Yeah, I've actually done tutorials on this on many channels. It's mm -hmm. It's been around. So I link all the boxes together for the entire station in green wire. That also gives you a, a source for signals for controlling the station signals or other smart designs. Mm -hmm. And then I wire all of the inserters between the belt and the box together. Right. Plug the boxes into a combinator, arithmetic one, and output to the inserters. And we divide by the negative number of the boxes in the entire train station. So this is just a one wagon. We have 12 boxes, so it divides by negative 12. Right. So each box with the other color is linked to its inserter. That means the two colors get added together in the inserter. So the inserter sees the box content minus the average. That's why we did the negative 12. Right. So it sums them together, it sees the negative average. Mm -hmm. Or it's Sorry, it's contents minus the average, and if that's one or less, as in if it's equal to or less than the average count, it'll operate. Right. Now, I've seen a lot of designs try to mimic this, and they usually just set the equal zero and add a one or something, and I don't like the extra combinators. Yeah. Yeah, this is, is pretty straightforward as you can get for something like this. I explained how to build it, but you can just pull the blueprint string right from the description, I'm guessing. Yep, I'll blueprint this one and the unloader, and uh, you can blueprint it. Plus, you get free wire, because when you blueprint, it doesn't actually take wire um, from your inventory. Uh, it's free. And uh, one quick note is you may notice when the train's here, these actually don't, it doesn't work, um, but that's because the boxes are constantly emptied. Uh, so what we can do is if I send this train away um, so that they're not constantly emptying now you'll see this thing is actually working in unison and these boxes pretty much have about all the same there's a f one or two three discrepancy and I'm uh, that's because of the stack bonus I believe yes so uh, so yeah that's that it's I mean sure it uses circuit stuff but it's straightforward easy the unloader is even easier um, and then yeah we move down to this one. 
literally the same as the top one, except two wagons. Yeah, and you do need to leave this little leading belt that I'm going back and forth on mm -hmm. to give it time to, to stack up, if that makes any sense. If you put the, insert, the splitter too close to this junction, it won't completely fill the belt. Okay, that's a good point, yeah. That's why it, there's like two or three belts worth of leeway before it gets to the splitter. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like to do each side and each wagon independently wired. Cause, and limit the boxes to seven stacks. Because all you need to do to keep the output inserts going 100% is you need to train in here once every, since it's over 50 seconds. Right. The um the time that you need a train to come back and forth, um we were discussing a little bit before the video, it's actually super simple with this type of setup. It's literally the time equals the stack size in seconds. So like Zuri just said, since it's or it's fifty. If you were doing plate, it would be every hundred seconds. Yes. There's forty stacks in a train, and the blue belt is forty items a second. So the number of seconds it takes to load and unload based off the belt throughput is the stack size in number of seconds. Right. And, uh, yeah, this is a good point is for blue belt. Um, if you were doing say yellow belt, which is a third, um, that would cut your train time way, way down. Or you mean triple it. Yeah. If triple you it. Sorry. That's what I mean. Yeah. But the, the yellow belt is a third speed of a blue belt about. Yeah. So instead of taking 50 seconds, you can take 150 seconds between trains if you had a single yellow belt on each side. Per wagon. Yeah, per wagon. Um, but this... yeah, these are based off of my old belt balancer type designs before we had signals. Right. And uh, yeah, it's just a pretty straightforward one to six. Um, you know, send one in. Again, blueprint will be for this one too. And for multiple wagons, you just put multiple of them, splitter it in like this, so it's the ore is sent to them evenly. Uh, and they go. The same. This thing uh, seems to randomly eat ore, though. It's like the second time it's happened. Yeah, I don't know where they go. It, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it is weird. It's they, they just like disappear. Um, but you can see this fully compressed belt working exactly as Zuri said. And then this dude loads. And, uh, and yeah, I, I asked Zuri, why don't we use stack inserters on the load here? And simple answer, you don't need them. I mean, you can see this belt, each lane is like not even close to compressed. So stack inserters, I mean, there's, they're not needed. You, you don't have that much on a belt. Yeah, if you were to feed each of these half wagons with a full blue belt, you wouldn't need a stack inserter, but that also cuts your... Uh, time available or downtime by half so you need to train in here every 25 seconds if you were to double up the belts right which is you know doable you could replace these fast inserters with stack inserters and run another belt and then if you can do it logistically get more trains in and out of the stations yeah yeah so if you made these stack inserters then you would have four blue belt output for this size train Is it... yeah four blue belts right so so yeah that's pretty good if you can get a train in and out every 25 seconds then definitely go for it or if you're bringing in plate then it would be every 50 seconds but uh but yeah so there you go there's some train loaders unloaders and uh you know we only show two sizes but really if you have bigger trains you just do multiple uh like like we showed you just do this for each wagon and it's pretty straightforward um about as simple as it gets and they work really well i should also mention that they're inherently balanced like you don't need a belt balancer for these two lines you don't need lane balancers for these since the inserters do that there's the same number on each side yes very good point and if you're feeding or emptying out one line very 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 heavily mm -hmm. and it's part of the reason i use a wooden box with the stack limited to exactly seven stacks is that even if you know you're eating th these three inserters really really heavily 
the next train that comes in won't load those boxes. They'll load the other boxes instead. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that is a very important note. So it, it still pretty much balances itself. Yeah, it'll it'll balance itself over trains. And since each wagon feeds top and bottom lines, you don't need to balance the belts. So, like I said, I, I very much prefer designs that are inherently balanced over manually balancing everything afterwards. Mm-hmm. I would definitely agree. So, uh, so yeah, there you go, guys. I hope this helps. There will be a blueprint in the description for the unloader, a single one, just because that's easier to deal with if you need to expand it, and for the circuit loader, and um, for one of these one to six balancers, too, in case you want that. But there you go. I hope this was helpful and answered any questions you guys had about train loading or unloading evenly. And yeah, unless you have any other comments here, Zuri, we will call it. That's good. All right, there we go. Thanks, guys. Leave any thoughts you have in the comments. And until next time, we will catch you later. Later.